next step. I wish that the threshold was different, but you know, remember this is a rubber gasket on the threshold and we're going to leave that. We could have taken that off and put a flat one, but if you put a flat one, then what you'd have to do is put a shoe on the bottom of this door and then you would have to cut the whole bottom of the door off. You slide a shoe on there, then you can adjust that up or down to hit on your threshold. And then what I like to do on that is adjust it halfway, happy medium, so that if it does sag again, you can adjust the, the shoe again one way or another, you know what I mean? But we don't have that here, everything's painted. And I could, my next step is gonna be, I've gotta get this so it fits all the way in there. Cause see, it's still, it's still hitting that gasket a little bit. And I can see that. It's hitting this and this, it looks like this is going up at a slight angle and the threshold can't go down any further. It's up higher on this side than it is here. So this is kind of going up. So when the door hits, it's hitting about there and then it's kind of pushing this rubber up like that. And then it's not, it's preventing it from closing all the way, you know? That's, that's the thing I don't like about these threshold ones. There's really no adjustment on them per se. So, you know, you have to undercut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide, do I wanna undercut this door? I could undercut the door, but I'd only be shaving off maybe a 16th or so here to nothing. And then I gotta get my saw out, make sure it doesn't mark up the door, cut it somewhere else. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a wood rasp. Let me show you what my rasp looks like. That's what I'm gonna use. See how it's nice and rough here. And it's smooth there, rough, smooth. See how this side is contoured, this side is flat. I'm gonna use a contoured side. Now I've gotta take the door back down and I see, and it's, I'm gonna do a happy medium here. I close this door, it seems to be only hitting from about halfway. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, you can. It seems to be hitting from about here that way. So, yeah, you make do with what you have. You don't say, oh, I have to go to the store and get a belt sander. Oh, I have to go get a skill saw. Oh, I, my skill saws blade is not sharp. I have to go to the store and get a new blade. I can't fix it. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix it with this little rasp. Okay. And I think, last thing I want to do is get this up too high um, because then I'm going to lose my threshold seal down there so that spiders and creepy crawlers don't come in or when it's hot outside, you don't want the hot air coming in. Or if it's cold outside, you don't want the cold air coming in in the winter, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to look under there and I'm going to make a decision about maybe there. I'm going to go from there this way. Well, of course, what does that tell you? I can't do it with the door on like that, right? Guess what I have to do? Yeah. I got to take the door off again. It's a good thing I didn't take these hinge pins and pound them in all the way, huh? That's my next step. You know, yeah, things take a little bit of time, but you know what? If you were paying somebody to do this, they're going to charge you to do all this too. You might as well start learning this stuff yourself and save some money. Okay. thing you want to do is turn your back on a door like this at this point because it could possibly fall out of the opening without you even knowing it okay and then that would be bad news bears baby okay just like that we're ready for the next 
step. Yeah, I mean business now. Oh. Get my rasp and I'm ready to go. The door set up here. And I'm gonna put a mark. That's where my mark is, about right there. Okay, so from there up, maybe a sixteenth or so. I wanna I could take a straight edge from there up. In fact, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that. Eh, I could I could get a straight edge and put a mark there. In fact, here's a piece of cardboard. How about that? Something. And I could see I could see kind of where the high bit is right here. This part is higher than the end style. Just a hair. Not much, but we're gonna rasp that down. Now, is there a right or wrong way to use a rasp? Yes. I wouldn't I don't want to take the rasp and rasp this way because this is the finished end edge this is the finished edge so I don't want to take my rasp and start going like that I'll flake the end straight off possibly you know what I mean so what I'm gonna to have to do and because it's concave I'm gonna use a concave area because then I can kind of dig in a little bit you know let me get my uh, I, like, I like this little pad for my knees like that maybe I'll put a piece of cardboard here as a mark up the jam I'm going to use the concave because then I can kind of use it as, and dig in. Just going to do some testing right now. See, I want to go that way. You see, it almost started flaking. I'm just going to kind of taper this in. Like that. Get that edge going. this way and then I can finish it with the smooth end, the smoother side, you know. But of course I got to dig it in deeper, so I first concentrate on this edge. And could you use something else? Yeah, you could use a belt sander, you could use a, a sanding pad on a, uh, on a big grinder, let's say, a plane. Not not as easily with a plane, I don't think, but, you know. So once I get this edge, now I can come across, because now i got to dig into this. And it's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm going to go about halfway. And this is pretty sharp, actually. Once I get it going, dig in, then I can go up a little bit, dig in, and try to go about halfway. Then I can come back the other way. As I'm doing that, I'm trying to be mindful of not pulling it back over this edge. Okay. Round it off. Now dig some more. As I'm doing that, this blade, this rasp, is off of the edge, so I'm not even touching the edge right there. See? I'm holding it at an angle. Sure you can see all this. Yeah, yeah, I think you can. Sure. Keep her going. I 
gonna be careful with this edge here. I wanna just go this way first. Like now I can do a little bit more. And they have longer rafts too with the handle, but I like this because I can do everything with this and be a little closer to my work. Gotta be careful with this top edge. I want to go down because I don't want to hit it up like that and flake something and come up. Why do I tell you that? Because I know it's going to happen if I'm not careful. Why do I know that? Because I've done it before, that's why. side. Little by little, you can do it.